post-surgical neuralgia can have some identifiable uh, causes and sometimes we don't know why they happened. And um, uh, the, there are many theories about why they happen. So the, if we can identify the reason, uh, like uh, a fracture, traction, positioning, uh, these are all can be, um, at least we know what we're targeting. But when we find no reason and then they happen um, uh, like uh, far, like weeks after surgery, that makes it extremely challenging. Uh, and that's why we start just following our algorithm of treating the uh, neuralgia uh, and aggressively so it doesn't develop into a chronic condition. Uh, again, the, uh, the, the longer the patient will continue to have post-surgical neuralgia, uh, which basically the more chronic the pain is, it will become very hard to treat. Yes, so the immunotherapy during uh, 2020 and uh, again since the start of the pandemic uh, has been a challenge uh, not only for post hepatic neuralgia but for all our pain procedures. And we don't know an exact, um, uh, I would say, number of days or weeks patients should be uh, uh, out of their kind of COVID infection or negative test to be able to use steroids. So definitely if they have to be used with much more care now uh, and uh, we need to identify many risk factors like we may want to make sure maybe the patients are negative, don't have uh, symptoms or signs of infection and if they have an infection then we need to wait uh, for a certain duration of time to make sure it's okay to have them uh, on uh, immunotherapy. So definitely I would say complicated the picture uh, significantly.